Hi and welcome back to the Need for Excel YouTube channel. Today we will take a look at the split function. Split is a VBA function and as its name suggests, it is used to split a text string. It takes four arguments, expression, delimiter, limit and compare. Expression is the input string that is to be split. Delimiter is the delimiter which will determine where the string is to be split. The default delimiter is a space character. If you omit this argument, the text will be split at every occurrence of a space. Third argument is limit. This argument determines the maximum number of substrings into which an input string should be split. Default value being minus 1, which means the input string will be split at every occurrence of the delimiter. Fourth argument is compare. You can basically have it to make two types of comparisons, binary and textual. We won't worry about this right now. So here on this worksheet, I have a sample text in cell A1, which is our input string. There are few sentences making up one big sentence and I wish to split the input text where every sentence ends. So my delimiter will be a period. So let's access the Visual Basic Editor by using the short keys Alt F11. Let's insert a new module and start a new sub procedure. Let us declare all the variables that we'll need. Dim text string as string, W array as string, counter for the for loop as integer and strg as string. Notice how I opened and closed parentheses in front of the variable w array. That is because I want it to be an array variable. This is how we tell Excel that this particular variable is an array variable. When the number of items in an array are known, it should be mentioned in those parentheses, else it should be left blank the way I have. Next. Text string equals range a1 dot value. So our input string from cell a1 will be stored in the variable named text string. Now let's give the array variable w array a bunch of substrings by using the split function to break the original input string. w array equals split text string comma and a period in quotation marks, parentheses closed. Here the first argument is our input text string. Second is the delimiter and third I've left blank. It will assume the default value of minus one. In plain English, the split function will split the input string at every occurrence of period. We will now need a for loop to spit out our substrings on different rows. For counter equals L bound W array to U bound W array. L bound and U bound are VBA functions that deal with lower and upper boundaries of arrays. Counting of arrays start from 0 instead of 1. So if there are 5 items in an array, the lower bound will be 0 and the upper bound will be 4. 0 to 4 being 5 items. So if there are 5 items in an array, the loop will run that many times. Going ahead, strg equals w array, open parentheses, counter, and close parentheses. The value from the variable counter will be passed here. Cells counter plus 3, comma 1, close parentheses dot value, equals trim into bracket string. And this line of code will have the substrings on different rows. So assume the value of the variable counter is 0 the first time the loop runs. So 0 plus 3 is 3. So first text string will be put on third row and the first column. I've also used the trim function to get rid of the unnecessary spaces. Then 
next counter to loop it again and then the end sub statement. Let us use the F8 key to debug the code one bit at a time so that you understand exactly what's going on here. Notice how my website got split into different substrings as well because of the occurrence of periods which is certainly not what we want. So let's change our delimiter to period followed by a space because that is how a sentence ends, right? Let's run the code again by using the F5 key. And now it's perfect. If you like my videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel and give me a thumbs up. Exercise files will also be available on my website www.needforexcel.com by clicking on the Dropbox link. I'll see you soon. Thanks a lot for watching.